So I'm going to walk you through just like a standard ticket inside of Synchro and what that would look like on your full list of tickets too. Uh, you are going to notice when we go through this that tickets inside of Synchro are going to look different. Most likely going to look different than a platform you're using today or a platform you've used in the past. And the reason why is because not only are you going to be able to add time and communicate on side of a ticket, of course, you can do that with any of them. Uh, but you're also going to be able to do RMM related tasks inside of the Synchro ticket as well. So the first thing I want to point out is up here on the top. I mentioned, of course, you can add your time onto a ticket, but it doesn't stop there. So you can actually click this add and view charges section and anything that you have in your existing inventory or just on the fly, you can add any of those items right here onto this ticket. Uh, product services and labor can all be included there. This next section you're going to notice are worksheets and truly this is like one of my favorite things inside of a ticket because we just do this different than other platforms. Um, our partners really love these. It helps keep your business streamlined. If there's multiple technicians, you'd know that every step that you need to do on specific ticket types is going to be done every single time the same way. So for an example, if this was like a virus removal ticket, I have a list of items that I know I need to accomplish in order to finish this ticket. Now, when I hire a new technician, I know that they're going to do it my way uh, without skipping steps, right? And I could also make these worksheets to where they have to be 100% filled out before closing the ticket. You don't have to do that, but you can. And another favorite way is like if you're onboarding a new customer, you may want to have, I don't think this is exact, but you may want to have like an, a list of things that you want to do. Hey, I want to add antivirus. I want to install the Synchro agent. I want to add the, the domain to my system. I want to set them up with security awareness training, and you've got a list of items. And this example is just like for an internal IT department. So maybe you have a new hire and you need to do all the things and set them up with email and get them a door tag and, and all that. So I really like worksheets. I just think it helps you streamline your business and make sure that uh, steps aren't being skipped. And then um, out here to the left, I do just want to um, touch on the billing status. I'll, I'll talk about that here in a minute when I show you the full uh, list of tickets. But this is great to know like what money you're going to have coming in. Um, is it partially invoiced? Is it fully invoiced? Um, so I'll, I'll show you that here shortly. And then um, when I was talking about RMM related tasks inside of the ticket, this is awesome. So this little quick view uh, modal here is going to be available from almost every single page inside of Synchro. You could be on an asset page, on a customer page here inside of a ticket. This little quick view button uh, that a lot of people don't know is here. If I click on that, um, I actually have it disabled right now to show the live preview of the screen, but if I wanted this to show me a live preview of the screen before I remote in, you can absolutely do so. Um, I can also run a script. I can chat with the customer right here. Um, and this is because I have this ticket attached or I have this asset attached to this specific ticket. If you don't, no worries. If that asset already lives in your system, you just add it right here and you're able to do so or just shoot them over the agent installer link here. So really, really easy to do that. But um, even like branching off into another new ticket is possible right here. Any ticket, just with the click of a button, you're able to turn this into an invoice right here. Uh, one of the best parts is uh, right here, line items. Hey, here are all of my tickets that have not been added to an invoice yet. I can assure you, we are not going to allow money to slip through the cracks here, right? It's like foolproof. You absolutely cannot get to the next step without saying, hey, do I want to add all of these onto the existing invoice? And you don't have to, but this is a great way just to create an invoice right here on the fly. Um, and truly, our MSP owners tell us that their they're technicians, as soon as they swap to Synchro, they're like, wow, I love being able to do every single thing start to finish on a ticket in one screen without having to hop to other screens. I can remotely access straight from inside of a ticket. Uh, without leaving that page. And then the last thing I'll show you here is just a list of tickets. So, wow, that's a, a lot of tickets here. Um, you can definitely organize this however you'd like. Two things I like to show, saved asset, or excuse me, saved ticket searches. You can create these per technician. So if I wanna just create one that I don't want anyone else to see, great. Otherwise, if it's public, your other technicians in the organization are gonna be able to see this saved search. But if you only want to see your own tickets or I only want to be able to see like non-billable invoice, partially invoice, invoice required, hey, I haven't invoiced them yet. I need to make sure I create an invoice for all of these tickets. You can create views that way. Um, of course, you can customize what what these uh, different headings are here and then groupings. Oh, 
I have been at Zingro for almost four years and it probably took me two and a half or three years to realize that groupings were even here. Um, so you can create these different groups that just make it look way more organized. So I could say, hey, first I want to group this by technician and then maybe even status. I can apply this grouping and now I'm going to be able to see, perfect, demo engineer has three that are awaiting a customer reply. He has one new, he has three that require a follow-up and so on and so on. And you can do this by a lot of different um, groups here.